A UAE mall has just installed solar panels for the first time. I'm Bernta Busman, and to learn more about this announcement, I'm here with Jeremy Lawrence. Jeremy, so where are these so solar panels and, and what took so long? Okay, yeah, both good questions. Uh, I spoke to Anova CEO, Anne Le Gunek. Uh, Anova was created in 2002. It's a joint venture with Majid Al Fatame and French energy management company Viola. And so they've had this partnership for quite a long time now. They've been working steadily. This is the first of its kind, though, obviously, as you alluded to. So it's a photovoltaic plant, and it's on the car park of the roof at Mall of the Emirates on the new section up top. And it's going to uh, generate three gigahertz of clean energy, saving uh, 1.4 million dirhams of cost per year. Um, over 7,000 panels were fitted on an area spanning over 11,000 square meters. Interesting. I mean, but what does that mean in terms of savings? Obviously, what the, the benefit of, of clean energy is in many cases the savings. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, well, this, this area, the size of two football fields, will reduce two and a half thousand tons of carbon monoxide emissions per year, which is the equivalent to taking 480 cars off the road. So that's a fairly good start. But what I don't understand is why now and why in just this particular part of Mall of the Emirates? Yeah, this is the questions that I was asking uh, Anne Le Gunek because you look at a, a building the size of the Mall of the Emirates and you think, well, why isn't the whole thing covered in, in uh, solar panels? Surely, just to an untrained observer, you think, couldn't they be making huge cost savings by putting um, panels all over, the, all over the facade? So she said she agrees, but it's been done in two phases. This was the first one. The second phase, they will look at doing more of the facade. She said the reason it hasn't been done until now is because the solar panels, yes, the technology was there, but it was expensive. The panels were clunky. They didn't look very good. They were quite heavy, so you couldn't just fit them anywhere. She says for the first time, they've got panels that look really neat, quite cost effective. Then they, they look great on the roof. And she says they're going to wait a while, though, because they think there's, there's a lot of work being done at the minute that's going to make them even lighter, even more cost effective. They said it's better to sort of wait and do it properly. So... What they've been doing is lots of other projects over waste management, water treatment, and things like that in, in, in the last 15 years. So it's only now you've seen the more obvious thing to an untrained eye as in solar panels. For Majid Al Futaim as a company, what, what does this mean? I mean, going forward, how serious are there about the sort of sustainable practice across it, the brand? Well, very serious. I mean, I didn't really know a lot about Anova, but yeah, Anova was created in 2002 and have been working not just with Alpha Tame, they work with a lot of people, but it's, it's, it, is a, it is a Majid Alpha Tame venture and this French company as well. Um, so they've got a strategy to become net positive in water consumption and carbon emissions by 2040, which is a very ambitious target given the size of the malls they've got. Um, so immediately to do that, they're, they're going to do um, uh, solar panels on, on three shopping malls this year. And the objective is to source a minimum of 7.5% of energy use on site via renewable energy at all new developments and a minimum of 5% in existing buildings. And she said, uh, Anne Le Gunek, that she thinks they can do it. So plans are on track. Um, and what else does Innova have planned? I mean, in this regard, not necessarily with malls, but across. I mean, yeah. General. Well, I mentioned before they've been doing a lot in, in, in sort of, you know, just containing waste treatment and water use. What I found was. Uh, quite striking was that they've been working on Ski Dubai since it opened and she said that this whole time they've been making it steadily more um, uh, consum less consumption heavy so it's an extremely energy efficient building she says it now consumes less energy than a typical 120 room uh, hotel so people often look at Dubai and say wow the building ski slopes in the desert isn't that crazy and, it, and it's not really and they're, they're doing a host of things she said she said, we've recently changed the way we use the ski guns. We realized we could change the temperature of the snow from minus six to minus five without any, um, any impact on the snow quality. And they've also looked at how they use the, reuse the water as much as possible. So it's these tiny, tiny gains that you make time and time again, which will lead them towards these savings. Interesting. Well, I'm sure we'll hear more about these sorts of announcements. I happen to know last week also there's the first solar-powered Spinney's store in the UAE opened in Central Mall. Yeah, you will find more about these things because as she says, this technology is starting to work. She said just one last thing. She said that uh, when I asked her what needs to happen next, and she said now the big, um, 
the big solutions are kind of going to come around energy um, storage because at the minute you can capture and you have to use it straight away. As soon as you learn to store it more efficiently and cheaper, then you'll see further game changes. Interesting. Well, like I said, I'm sure we'll hear more about that. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, I'm Bernsey Boosman. This is Jeremy Lawrence, and you're watching Inside AB. Please make sure to subscribe and tune in every weekday at 10 a.m. Thank you.